Beginnings. I was born in Blunderstone, Suffolk. We lived in a good house with a garden. There were many trees outside the house. My father had named our house the Rookery. It was because the Rook, a bird, had made nests in all the trees in our property. After my father's death and just before I was born, his aunt, Betsy Trotwood, visited our home. Many things were about to change. Aunt Betsy gave her opinions and expected all to listen and obey. My life was now to begin. My nephew David was a good man, but a bit silly. My usually shy mother told Aunt Betsy in a firm voice that she did not want anyone to speak about my deceased father in an unkind way. Please, Aunt, I would not like it if you spoke in this manner about my late husband. My husband David was a good man. He was honest and had a kind heart. If my baby is a son, I will call him David after his father. I hope that he grows to be like him. Aunt Betsy stared at my mother. Of course, the baby will be a girl. I will be her grandmother and she will be called Betsy after me. She will not make any mistakes in her life, mistakes that I have made. When Aunt Betsy had come to our home the first time, she knew that my mother was carrying me. My young mother was a widow and had only one servant by the name Pagotti. Aunt Betsy had said that she had come to our house to help my mother care for me. Aunt Betsy was harsh towards males. This was due to the problems that she had with her husband who had ill-treated her. They had separated. She now considered all men as silly and wicked who only made the lives of women difficult. But when I was born a male, she was in a state of shock. She left the house and then we were alone again. Fortunately, Pagotti was more than a servant. She was like a friend to my mother and later to me as well. We were happy and made the most of our life together. My mother would spend her evenings and wet days with the Gotti in the parlor, chatting, singing or reading. At those times, they would rock me, a baby in their arms, till I felt asleep. Then, one of them would put me in bed. On Sundays, we went to church and to my father's grave. I felt safe knowing that he was close to us. I had many such tender memories of my childhood. I do think about them and laugh at those pleasant times. Pagotti's plum and red cheek that looked like apples. So that every time she went out I told her to be careful else. The birds would pluck her cheeks thinking them to be fruit. Those were peaceful happy times.